Liam, it was a, a, a tough afternoon and a tough result to take uh, on the opening on the opening weekend. Yeah, um, you know, that's the championship. You know, very tough, very competitive. Obviously, it's the first game of the season. We wanted to get the win, but today it wasn't meant to be. Um, we've definitely got a few things we can touch up and improve on. Um, but, you know, we're always learning. And we need to look forward to the next game now and we've got a cup game midweek and then try and get some points on the table next Saturday. Uh, there was abs- I'm sure no one in the dressing room will have underestimated what the challenge was that when we came here. It was just that QPR were, they were quite on it today, really, weren't they? They made things very difficult for us. Yeah, we kind of knew what they were going to do. You know, it's a, it's a compact stadium. Um, you know, if they can start on the front foot, you know, the fans get behind them and they try and progress like that. And, you know, unfortunately today we didn't manage to handle that from, from early on in the game. Uh, something that needs addressing, but I fully believe in a group of players that we can do that and kick on again pretty soon. Obviously, it's a t- when it's a tough afternoon, it get, kind of gets tougher when you're, you're reduced uh, to 10 men. Thiago, I'm sure, is um, you know, gutted to have that happen to, on the opening weekend and probably a bit of luck in the build-up. Really, we're down to 10 men beforehand when, when John, John Daddy went down injured. Yeah, um, obviously, and I feel, feel bad for Thiago. You know, he's getting the red card after you know, getting the start today, but you know, I think it's just a one-match suspension. Cause obviously, it's a tactical foul. Um, he'll be back stronger and I just hope, like you said in the build-up where we lost John Daddy, it's, uh, it's nothing too serious and he'll be back on the pitch pretty soon as well. I mean, there was uh, quite a lot of debuts, people are still slotting in, you know, we had uh, John Daddy was one of them, Pella came in, Mo Barakam off the bench, Omar Richards as a young lad came in and, and slotted into defence, so we all know that you know every team at the beginning of the season takes a little bit of time to sort of gel and, get, and, kind of, uh, and keep working and that's what the, the challenge is now. Yeah, that's the challenge, but at the same time it's, uh, it's about being competitive as well at the same time. Um, you know, as much as you need a bit of time bedding in and you know uh, introducing new players into the style of play we play, that we sorry that we play on the day, um, they need to be ready and we need to be ready as a team because you can't let this league escape you. You know, you can't lose for a few weeks in a row because you can find yourself in a difficult place. It's about trying to build momentum as, as early as possible, and we need to look to that next Saturday. And you've you've said plenty of times you know they'll have ups and downs and you don't want to start on a down, but sometimes that happens. So you know. As you say, you know, next thing now is uh, is looking forward to those those games like Gillingham in the cup on, on in midweek. Yeah, exactly. You know, got a cup game to look forward to uh, back at the Majeski for the first time. Um, obviously, that's a positive note. And then uh, next Saturday is very important. You know, it's it's said a lot in this league, but it's true. Uh, you can't get two up when you win and two down when you lose, and that's the case today. We'll pick for it tomorrow, and then uh, Monday we'll be back out on the training pitch trying to put things right and. You know, we'll have games where you know we obviously do better and we win games, and it's all about finding that balance, and that's what we need to do today. And, and you mentioned when we spoke during the week that you're looking forward to getting back out there at the Daisy Stadium because you know, the pitch has been relayed, you know, back in front of the home fans where we were very successful last year. So, you know, hopefully that's where we really kind of our season starts in earnest, if you like. Yeah, that'd be nice. Uh, obviously, it was a bit of a fortress for us last year. Picked up a lot of points there, and we're going to look to do the same this year. And you know, if the playing surface is going to be far improved. It could help us a lot, but it's obviously it's down to the commitment, it's down to the work rate, and then it's down to performances on the day. You know, there's no such thing as a fortress if you're not going to put in the, the, the hard yards, and we need to do that. And lastly, Cup was uh, quite a, quite uh, successful for us last year. You know, we got managed to get as far as uh, playing Arsenal in, in this competition. So it'd be nice. Uh, obviously, we have to go one stage at a time, but if we could put a little run together, that would be uh, be nice starting with this one against Gillingham. Yeah, it's all about momentum. Um, obviously, we was lucky last year to have a few nice uh, away trips in the Cup. But it's about momentum. Let's get that winning feeling back. Uh, something I tried to mention to the boys in the dressing room. You know, it's great when you're winning. You get into a rhythm and, you know, you're winning pretty much without thinking about it. You know, it's just coming game after game. And the earlier we can get into that stride, the better. Thanks for your time today. Thank you. Cheers.